At Lynn, nothing progresses beyond the prototype stage if it can't conclusively answer one simple question positively. Is this better than what's available elsewhere? Designing and building our own DAC from first principles was no exception. It was only worth doing if the result would be significantly better than our previous designs utilising third-party chips. You might wonder why it's taken us so long to tackle the colossal challenge of designing our very own DAC. What's changed? Why now? In 1997, with our legendary reference CD player, Sondek CD12, we were only in complete control of the proportion of the signal chain which followed the DAC. The CD mechanism, DAC, and much of the clocking remained dependent on suppliers. A decade later, with Climax DS in 2007, we used our own network processing and decoding to replace the CD mechanism, transporting 24-bit Studio Master music files completely losslessly and with vastly more accurate timing thanks to our own complete clock design. In the intervening years which separate then from now, we perfected digital volume controls, improved upsampling, further refined clocking processes, and established extremely stable reference voltage levels for the third-party DAC chips we used in our products. Everything we had done had resulted in marked improvement, but the part which would produce the biggest leap in performance eluded us, the DAC itself. It wasn't just the final piece of the puzzle, it was the most important piece, the key to unlocking maximum performance. Our electronics team were aware that theoretically superior digital to analog conversion methods existed. But, of course, there's a world of difference between theory and practice. One such conversion method seemed particularly suited to our design strengths. The theory hinged on a paradigm shift away from conventional designs relying on closely matched components to an innovative new design based in the time domain. It was only with the arrival of advanced FPGA processors and their vast computational horsepower, coupled with substantial investment in our own circuit board capability, that this theory became viable. Even so, our all-LIN DAC project, which would eventually come to be known as Organic, would need to be developed from first principles, completely from scratch. Our new FPGA-based pulse width modulator PWM, is the essence of the paradigm shift. It moves the requirement away from extremely accurate component matching to extraordinarily accurate clocking. We have 30 years of experience making our own clocks and oscillators. We've become rather good at it. And for organic, we deliver our most accurate clocking process ever, with an accuracy of one trillionth of a second. With this, we achieve our first goal of creating a zero distortion DAC front end with immeasurably low loss and impeccable timing. We then face the critically difficult step of how to convert that into an analog signal. And that's another area in which organic is special. The distortion-free PWM waveform matched with an analog finite impulse response, FIR, conversion stage, handled by discrete components, placed by LIN engineers on a LIN-produced circuit board, is what makes Organic truly unique. With this novel DAC architecture, implementation, and realization, we have finally completed the puzzle. LIN has achieved complete control over the entire music signal chain. Organic forms the beating heart of next-generation Climax DSM the ultimate streamer, and is largely responsible for its rave reviews, magazine front covers across the globe, and five Product of the Year awards so far. Organic is also available as an upgrade to your cherished Climax DS, DSM, Xactbox, or 350 loudspeakers. How does it sound? That's not for us to say. Rest assured though, we don't do anything unless we can do it better than what's available elsewhere.